Okay, so today, folks, we had our uh, minutes applause for former Scotland manager uh, Craig Brown and uh, delighted to be joined by uh, family uh, members of Craig. We've got Hugh, we Craig, and uh, John. Um, pleasure to have you all here, and, and thanks very much for taking the time to, to just have a wee chat this uh, about about your dad and, and granddad. I mean, there's been plenty said um, recently, you know, about your father um, in the footballing world. Mm -hmm. But we just wondered if you guys could maybe share share a few things about what what your your dad was like as a as a family man. Well, yeah, he uh, he got more and more of a family man as he got older. Yeah, because he was always away. At football events and games and training and whatever um, but the one the one thing that sticks in my mind is that he told us on numerous occasions recently because John and I didn't play at this level or a higher level that talent misses a generation <laughs> right. and he told us that till he was and, and, and that is obviously true although, <laughs> although he was very anytime Craig made a mistake or didn't play particularly well, if you'd say, that son of yours. <laughs> <laughs> so he took the most in the and he played well or scored a goal, but never when he had yeah. made a mistake or played not so well. Uh, he'd have been very, very happy today with the result, the performance, right. and uh, and your performance in particular. That was, that was a great performance, and the team was fantastic. Beating a, a Premier League team today, and uh, he would have been particularly uh, interested that Keith Lasley is one of his great pals, the general manager at St Myrne, and he'd have been uh, phoning him tonight to, to rub that in. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, I mean, so you're talking about the fact that obviously you, your dad um, was committed to the game for, for a long period right. of time, and so when when you did finally get a chance to, to spend more time with him, um, I mean, was he a different kind of guy then, do you know? He was obsessed with football, um, and, and I think I learned things that are of no use to me really now, uh, on the way up here and to other games, um, and you'd be the same, John. I mean, I now know how to take a throw in properly, right. which is of no use to me now. I now know what, how to defend a corner properly, uh, according to him. It's all about opinion, of course. But uh, yeah, I, I learned things about football because he wasn't a man for watching movies. He wasn't a man for going to the cinema, or uh, he didn't relax particularly well. It was football and he watched sports news, Football programme. Golf. He would, golf. He, golf. He loved his golf. High sport. He would watch cricket and, and, and golf, and, but nothing other than sport, really, to be honest. And I mean, did, so this skipping of a generation, shall we say, and you, you getting all the talent. I mean, uh, <laughs> comfortably. <laughs> I mean, I mean, did your your grandfather give you a lot of advice that maybe maybe he didn't offer? You know what? I was, I was raging every birthday and Christmas. I'd get a bag of golf balls <laughs> because, because because he knew. He oh. Who's popular? It's not me. Apologies. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's a fine. That's, that's a, a fine. fine. That's <laughs> a fine. That's 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 a fine. We were lucky that we went away on, on so many nice trips, we went on a few cruises and because he was away so much it was nice just to see him in a, a chilled out environment. I remember him used to get all his kit off and he'd be jumping in the pool with his big hairy chest. <laughs> you, guys are, you guys are probably embarrassed but it was good fun and, and he, lots of people used to come up to him and, and try and speak to him and he would love to, to speak back with people, it wouldn't be a case of he, he couldn't be bothered. He would always speak to them and I'd see people going up to him and I think that's just my granddad. Yeah. People took such an interest in obviously his career and it's just nice to see. Mm -hmm. um, and I think the tributes have been brilliant. Everyone's saying, oh, how are you finding it? Is it tough? But no, it's been great. Not not every person's kind of privileged to hear so many nice stories about their, their grandparents. So there's been people I don't even know that have been messaging me lovely stories. So uh, I'm, I'm lucky to, have, to to kind of hear them and how, how nice a guy's been yeah. and helpful. So, no. You know, um, a lot of people, you know, we'll talk about your grandfather in terms of his football, but the very short periods of time that I spent with him, he was a generous man. He was a generous man with his time. Mm -hmm. And and, and uh, I, I think for me personally, he, he must, he's going to be a great miss to you guys. He must be. Because he was, before anything, after anything else, a lovely human being, your dad. He was, he was a, he was a fabulous man. He, 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 
He loved people. He loved to tell a story. Any audience he could have, anybody that was willing to listen to anything he had to say about football, he would give them. So anytime you asked Dad, could you maybe speak 10 minutes at a, a local youth club yeah. or something like that? Could you do 10 minutes? He would do half an hour. If you say half an hour, it would be an hour. So you had to, you had to lie to him and say, five minutes, please, if you wanted 20 hours. Because you couldn't get up. <laughs> You've heard that. Yeah, I have, yeah. No, I did. I had the privilege of... of we used to have a talk. buzzer in the house so that every time we told us a story, we'd heard a hundred times. <laughs> hey, <laughs> hey, Dad, you know. Hey. <laughs> the buzzer, but he just loved to tell him stories and he loved, loved sharing his experience and his knowledge about football. He was, as you say, generous with, with a lot of coaches that I know and, and people come through um, playing football in the game. So, mm -hmm. and hopefully a wee bit that will rub off and continue to rub yeah. off. And, this young man. Yeah. I mean, if we talk, if we talk about your, your dad's football just for a minute in terms of what he did for the national team and getting us to those two finals, I mean, were you even born? I was in my mum's stomach. So I, I, I can technically say I was there. I'm a biologist. He definitely wasn't in our stomach. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, aye. So I mean, for for you, you you hear you hear stories about your grandfather aye. and the voice Jim, but no idea, you know, aye. baby, baby in arms and all that. Well, sort of stuff. there's I don't know if you've seen them, but I, I've watched them loads of times. The World Cup tapes, the diaries, and, and I used to love watching that when I was younger, just to see him in the football environment. Because to me, it was almost a wee bit weird thinking, my grandpa, he's not a football coach, but seeing him in that environment and the kit amongst all the big names. It was a bit of a wow moment to me to think it's mental that he's actually done that. So I used to love watching them on YouTube. Um, and obviously when we got the sad news, I, I remember I, I just put it on. Um, came back from my work, just put my feet up and watched that cup of tea and it was great. It was lovely. Turned my phone off because obviously it was going mental. But no, I, I was lucky to, to obviously be able to relive that just through the, the diaries. But you guys have probably got great stories getting hammered. <laughs> no, no, in the football sense. <laughs> no, he was uh, he was a tough disciplinarian, and, and I think the players that played with him would, would, would uh, tell you that. But we 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 weren't allowed uh, the freedom that some kids are allowed mm -hmm. in terms of running about crazy. We were told that we had to do our chores before we could go out on our bikes and things like that. Mm -hmm. He was quite a tough man. Um, I used to it used to irritate me a wee bit when the, when he was first in charge of Scotland. The press used to talk about. Oh, he's a cuddly wee school teacher and things like that. <laughs> <laughs> they, they hadn't seen the other side of him, you know. Was, exactly, yeah. He had a real, he had a real edge to him when he needed to have, and you know, I've seen it a few times. <laughs> Don't want to remember it too often, mm -hmm. to be honest. But he, he had that, and I, you know, I wish he'd shown that a wee bit more at the time. He might have been yeah. accepted a wee bit earlier. But I think history, history's been proven quite kind to him, and that you know, Scotland haven't done so well since. But yeah. hopefully, Steve Clark can. Kick us on just now. We're on another run. Oh, yeah, and uh, t well, there's no getting away from it. Whatever your dad may be, he will be looking down Oof. on that team in the moment, loving life. Oh, I, I mean, the biggest Scotland fan yeah. ever. Yeah, loved, yeah. loved Scotland. Yeah. Loved every game. He was, and he would never ever think that Scotland would get beaten. It was always, oh, they're going to win. He would always find a reason yeah, for yeah, Scotland yeah, yeah. to win. Yeah. Even you know, the playing whoever in the world, he'd always find a reason that they would win. Yeah, I, I miss him tonight because um, normally after a game, if he's not at the game, the first thing I would do is speak to him. And ask how the team did and how Craig did and all the rest of it. Um, Whether it was a so skip a generation day or, <laughs> oh, yeah, or, yeah, yeah. or your son. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Exactly. Yeah. So there you are. Yeah. Well, look, it, it's been a pleasure to, to have this opportunity to speak to you guys. I think for me, I'm um, sure the, the guys out there all, all, all agree, I'm, I'm delighted that you're happy. Do you know what I mean? When you've got mm -hmm. all yeah. the grief, yeah. Yeah. it can, can be devastating. Yeah, yeah. Whereas you're looking at a life that's been well lived. Oh, yeah and well loved mm -hmm. yeah. and uh, and for me um i think he was a topper of a guy he didn't leave much out there that's for sure no <laughs> had a good crack at it he certainly did <laughs> he certainly did yeah. thanks for that much thank appreciate thanks very much thank take you. care thank you cheers well played thank today you. by the way appreciate it cheers he would have been very proud uh, i'm not getting away from cheers. that thank you. pleasure thank you very much